so how did you start off in art licensing, Cindy? I mean, your artwork is on so many products across so many retailers, but how did it all start for you? Well, <clears throat> back in, wow, we're going back a long time, 1988, a friend of mine who's been a lifelong friend now, we first met at this craft show and she saw some of my artwork and she said, I think that this should be distributed. Would you mind if I took some of your artwork to Denver next week? So she, I mean, I didn't know her at the time, but she took some of my artwork to Denver and she found a marketing group for me at the Denver Merchandise Mart. And they didn't want to start till January and it was August. And I'm like, that's too long to wait. But it took me all that time to find people to make frames and mats and all this. And so wow. I just started this little cottage industry on our little farm and it grew and it grew it grew so fast that you know nobody even knew what to do and it felt like my head was just spinning to try to hire more people and fulfill orders and mm. but what happened eventually was that I really didn't get to do very much artwork so I kind of mm. became a business person and as we started shipping a million dollars a year and then kept growing and growing I just didn't have any time for artwork and Oddly enough, I got a headache every day in business class in high school. <laughs> and my mom even took me to the eye doctor because she thought something was wrong with my eyes. But I just didn't like business. I mean, business is numbers. Two plus two equals four. Where the artist is like, let's make some pretty twos and let's make, mm -hmm. you know, two plus two equals five. <laughs> you know, so right, it was right. not very good for my head. And so I ended up selling the manufacturing business and we had four retail stores and we just got out of everything in 2008. And then I just kind of did some various other jobs and, you know, all along, I've just felt like I would just really like to do artwork. So when mm -hmm. Penny Lane picked me up as one of their artists, that was just the highlight of my entire life. It was just amazing. And, you know, it starts out slow because people have to kind of try you out and see how it goes. But the people at Penny Lane are just amazing. I just love them all. They are so supportive and they're so helpful and encouraging. And they work hard. They work really hard. Sure. And I know that you're familiar with licensing and it is hard work. It is. It's right. a lot of detail. Right. And they're, you're in great hands with them because they just, they give all of their artists, you know, mm -hmm. 110%. And yeah. the thing that's just so great about them is they, it's not one size fits all. And it's not, well, this is what we have. It's what do you need? Mm -hmm. How can we make this mm -hmm. better? What, what can we do to mm -hmm. grow the program with you? I mean, they're just fantastic. You, yeah, I would agree. Everyone lands in great hands, but you're in great hands. <laughs> they're a great yeah. organization. We love working with them. Yeah. So that's, that's been really awesome. And where I'm not really, or I guess I can be business oriented and I can do math and things like that, but it just kind of hurts my head a little bit. Like I really have to try where with artwork, it's just unending. So what's nice about Penny Lane is that they are so detail oriented. They are just like on top of everything mm -hmm. and they're really good at communication too. So it doesn't hurt my feelings at all if they say, well, we like this barn, but could you put this background on it? Or could you make this a different color or whatever? Because I also do home decor and I flip houses. I'm also really into that side of the market. So knowing what trends are popular, knowing what colors are popular. So I love when they give me ideas and tell me, you know, what's trending and what's current. And it doesn't hurt my feelings at all to just mm -hmm move right into that groove yeah free feedback free feedback is always good yeah especially if it makes everybody money yeah sure. exactly. it doesn't compromise the artwork or the integrity right. of it for sure mm -hmm. 